Shadra Miti, KTN News. Thank you, Shadrach Mitty, for that report. And we come back to our conversations on matters to do with TVET. And I have TVET boss in the studio with me, Mr. Kip Kurui Langat. And we've seen um, um, others who are supporting TVET saying it is not just for failures. And even today, uh, the World Africa, uh, the AU has launched this initiative. Just how significant is World Skills Africa for, uh, for the continent and even those who will be shipped to go compete in France? What does that mean? Thank you. I, I think the, 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 this clip that has just passed is a testimony of um, those people who have gone through TVET and they have actually uh, experienced what uh, changed their life. Uh, currently, we have uh, close to 600,000 plus um, uh, students enrolled in TVET uh, across the country. And of course, those ones you've seen graduating is one or uh, a few among those ones. And uh, it is really uh, changing life among this and it's a demonstration that um, the government is putting in place a lot of strategies to change this. Mm -hmm. o of course, uh, uh, during the heads of states and government summit uh, in Addis to today, African Union uh, through the African uh, uh, NAPAT, uh, UADA NAPAT, launched the World Skills Africa which is going to be a movement and a platform to support uh, skills development uh, in the region. And as I mentioned, uh, currently, uh, the World Skills uh, International is a movement of countries that supports uh, skills development for socioeconomic development. It's a movement that started uh, way back in 1950 between two countries in Europe, that was Spain and Portugal just after the Second World War, mm -hmm. and Europe was ruined, and they didn't have um, uh, skills. And uh, as we are talking, currently World Skills International has membership of 87 countries, composing of three, two thirds of the world population, and contributing 90% of the GDP. Uh, sadly, is that um, there are only 10 countries in Africa mm -hmm. who are members of World Skills International, and this is the reason why today AU use the platform to make sure that encourages uh, more members mm -hmm. to uh, participate and become members of World Skills International. World Skills International, um, I mean, organize competition, just mm -hmm. the way we have Olympics. Mm -hmm. In fact, when it started in the 50s, it was, skills, uh, it was called Skills Olympics, but later on, not to confuse with the Olympics, uh, which we know, it was turned to World Skills Competition. And the, the task that these individuals are competing are designed from what we call international occupational standards. So it is a way of trying to see the relevancy of education and training into providing a task that are required in the industry. And therefore, if we encourage or if we arrange competition, we encourage more people to like skills and to be able to do this. Last year, we did uh, national competitions, which we had over 100 um, uh, young people competing. We were able to select about 10 of them mm -hmm. in eight skills areas, and we will be, uh, uh, will be participating uh, in World Skills International competition in France this year. Mm -hmm. And um, we are working very closely together with the Kenya Association of uh, Technical Trainers, who are our TVET institutions. National Chamber of Commerce and Industries and all other partners to make sure that we bring the level of skills development in this country into this uh, mm -hmm. international level. Mm -hmm. We also want to fit into the global market because the moment you participate in global competition, we put the map of Kenya into those countries that produce skill level. Mm -hmm. That is Dr. Kipkurui Langati, he is the Director General at Tibet Authority. And for those who will be flying the country's flag high, I will say uh, all the best and congratulations for a job well done. Uh, we, this conversation definitely continues. And even at the African Union, I'm pretty sure we shall be having more news from that side. But now, students have been urged to enroll in various clubs in their learning institutions.